Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is day 17 of my typing.com 30 day challenge. Oh, <laughs> we're in the home stretch now. <laughs> um, we've got this advanced wrap up to uh, do and the three minute assessment. And then we're on to tech readiness, I guess. So let's go with this. Ah, uh, uh, gently. Oh no, I could see. Yay. Oh, I forgot the period. It's like when I make a mistake it takes me a second to uh process that get going again Oh. Okay, and that should be the last one of that. It was. Nice, and now we get to continue to the assessment. Wowzers, this is your final lessons in the core typing curriculum. Incredible work. You have three minutes to get as far as possible. Uh oh. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot that. Ah, my finger kind of is like, 
I'll let me do something completely different now. Thank you. Uh, uh. That use stat and thoughts. Fifteen, twenty, and thirty on the typing test. Nice. Continue. And we finish the advanced assessment. We go back to the lessons. Oh, got 99% accuracy and 36 words per minute. Sweet. And it boosted our average for the whole up to 30 minutes, words per minute. Nice. Now what is this tech writing this? Parts of the computer. That sounds interesting. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I wonder if I should watch this. Is this begin quiz? Am I being quizzed over? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and watch What it. is a computer? A computer is a system of many parts that work together. Okay. Computers can be used to write a paper, play games, email a friend, find information, and so much more. Hardware. The parts of a computer that you can actually touch are called hardware. Here are some examples of the most common types of hardware in a computer system. Computer case. The computer case is the metal or plastic box that holds the brains of a computer. Central processing unit. The central processing unit, CPU, is the brains of the computer. Anytime you click the mouse yeah. or press a key on the keyboard, you are sending instructions to the CPU. Hard drive. Also inside the computer case is the hard drive where all of your documents are saved. Monitor. The monitor looks like a TV screen and lets you see your work and your files. Keyboard. The keyboard is used for typing words and numbers on the computer. Whatever you type on the keyboard, you can see on your monitor. Mouse. The mouse lets you point to objects on your screen, click on them, and even move them. You can also use the mouse to scroll or move to different parts of your screen. Printer. The printer takes the text and pictures on your screen and prints them onto paper. Speakers. The speakers let you hear different sounds created by the computer. With speakers, you can listen to songs and videos that you play on your computer. Ah, okay. Well, nothing that uh, I didn't already know, I guess. Just didn't want to miss out on any information. Which part of a computer takes the text and pictures on your screen and prints them onto paper? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> what is the brains of the computer? Which part looks like a TV screen and lets you see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, that's the case, right? Which part holds the brains of the computer? Part let she points to the phone and okay. Where are all your documents saved? Saved on the monitor, right? I didn't see you to type words and numbers on a computer. 
What is the name given to the parts of the computer that you can actually touch? Way to go. I earned a badge and answered nine out of nine questions correctly. Yay. Now we get to go, what makes a computer run? That's probably for the software when the enter didn't work. <sighs> okay. Um, how does a computer work? I don't know how computers computer works. can't work using only hardware. To be able to do all the fun things you want to do on a computer, you need software. Software tells the hardware what to do and how to do it. For example, writing and reading programs and games might be some types of software you have used before. Operating system. The operating system is the most important program that runs on your computer. It lets the computer, hardware, and software work together. Examples of operating systems are Microsoft's Windows and Apple's Mac OS. Internet browser. Using an internet browser lets you explore the internet where you can find lots of information like pictures, videos, and web pages. Examples of browsers are Google Chrome, Apple Safari, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. Application programs. Application programs do many different things. For example, Microsoft Word or Google Docs are both word processing programs that let you write book reports, essays, stories, and more. Examples of other application programs are Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. Antivirus software. Antivirus software protects your computer so that it doesn't get a computer virus. Just like flu viruses get people sick, computer viruses make your computer sick. Viruses can damage information on your computer if you don't yeah. have a good antivirus yeah. software. Oh, okay. That was a lot of information. I'm just kidding. What lets you do many things like write book reports and stories? Uh, application programs. Duct tape. Duct tape? is many many things and i'm sure you could write a book report or a story on duct tape if you needed to what lets the computer's hardware and software work together no. operating system what tells the hardware what to do and how to do it um wasn't that other one just software? Can I go back? Uh, what can make your computer sick? The influenza, yes. What protects your computer so that it doesn't get a computer virus? What lets you explore the internet to find information, pictures, videos, or web pages? The internet browser. Which of the following is a word processing program? Microsoft Word. Yay! Oh, cool. I didn't get that one wrong. I thought uh, there were two that were um, similar right in a row. Yeah, okay. Oh no, how to use a mouse? Um, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna take the quiz. The following is a necessary tool when working on a computer. Yes, a mouse. If you're right-handed, you click the left click button on which finger? The index finger. Keep the base of your blank on the mouse pad or desk. Base of your palm. That's how, that's how my hand sits with the base of my palm on the mouse pad. So that's what I'm going to answer. <laughs> what is the best way to move up and down on your computer screen? Oh, scrolling. 
with the little sidebar over there, but there's nothing, there's nothing over here right now. Submit. What action below would tell your computer to send an email? Uh, a click. To use the mouse properly, you will need to know how to point and click. Oh, I missed one. What? Keep the base of your... My wrist is not even touching the desk. It's my palm that's... T I don't even know how I could get my wrist to touch. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> protest this so much okay continue to computer lab rules i better watch this i guess because i don't i don't know how to use my my hands on a mouse what can be harmful to <laughs> your computer uh didn't didn't i watch the the thing Oh, here we go. Computer Treating lab technology rules. with care and respect will keep accidents from happening, and it will help your computer stay in great shape. Here are some tips on how to handle your computer with care. Properly shut down your computer. To properly shut down your computer after each use, follow your teacher's instructions. Wash your hands. Before you begin working on your computer, be sure your hands are clean. If you touch your computer with sticky hands, then the computer will get sticky too. Get permission. Before you log on to a computer at school or at home, get permission from your teacher or parent. No food or drink. Food and drinks can be harmful to your computer. You should keep any food and drinks away from your computer. Think before you print. Don't waste paper. Be sure to look over your document and only print what you need. Surf safely. When you use the internet, stay on approved websites. Some websites are dangerous and can give your computer viruses. Other websites might have bad messages. Handle mobile devices with care. Mobile devices, such as laptops, tablets, and smartphones, also need to be handled carefully and used responsibly. After using, return your device where it belongs. Okay. Um, what can be harmful? Oh, food and drinks, I guess, would be the most harmful thing in that list. Use internet, stay on approved websites. Before you begin working on your computer, be sure your hands are clean. <laughs> Follow your teacher's instructions to blank your computer after each use to shut down. Uh, mobile devices such as laptops and tablets need to be handled carefully. Yay! Surfing safely. Safety. Surfing safety. All right. Staying safe on the web. There are lots of great it's things not that like, you can do on the uh, internet. Like watching typing videos, in this. See websites and so how learn. am I getting and easily talk with your friends and family? With this. But you must be careful and avoid some of the dangers that are out there. In this lesson, we'll cover some safety tips that will help keep the internet a fun and safe place to explore. Never share personal information. When you are online, do not share your name, age, address, phone number, or any other personal information with anyone I, you do not I know. I really thought this was going to be passwords uh, typing. Besides not, your parents, like you should never answers? share your passwords with anyone. If you do, someone could get into your account and could even pretend to be you. Follow the rules. Listen to your parents about what online rules you should follow, such as which websites you may visit and what pictures you may post. Report cyberbullying. If you or someone you know are being made fun of or bullied with hurtful words or bad pictures, 
tell your parents or teacher right away. Keep your social media private. If you have a social media account, use high privacy settings. Ask a parent to help you if you're not sure how to do this. Don't meet up with strangers. Never meet up with an online friend. It can be very dangerous. If someone ever asks to meet with you, tell your parents or teacher right away. Visit websites that are safe. If you see something online that makes you upset, tell your parents or teacher right away. You should never feel uncomfortable because of something you saw online. Download with caution. Get permission from your parents or teacher before you download a file or an app. You could accidentally download a virus onto your computer or see something that you shouldn't. Okay, let's do the quiz. Because uh, it's been about 20 minutes, uh, so that's usually more than what I'm doing if I'm typing. So we'll go ahead and call it after this. You use social media, you should use the following high privacy settings. I think that's what it says. What should you do if someone is being bullied or <laughs> reported? When you are online, you should never share personal information. Who can you share your password with? Uh, parents? I mean, <laughs> I guess, when is it okay to meet with the stranger that you've met online? Never. What do you need from your parents or teacher before you download a file or app? Uh, permission? Okay, sign consent form. Uh, you should be careful on the internet. You should only vi visit websites that are safe. Yay, we got eight out of eight. Okay, um let's let's go over here. As see it says I've only done five minutes, but it's it's been time. So we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.